In question 9, we have to verify the identities for x cube plus y cube and x cube minus y cube. x cube plus y cube is x plus y times x square minus xy plus y square and x cube minus y cube is x minus y times x square plus xy plus y square. So we simply have to verify these identities. So what we can do is we can take this product, expand it and see if it matches the left hand side or not. So let's start with the first part. Uh, in the right side on the first part, we have x plus y times x square minus xy plus y square. So first we multiply x with uh, this term and then we multiply y with the second term. So we are basically using the distributive property of a multiplication over addition. So this will be x times x square minus xy plus y square plus y times x square minus xy plus y square. Now uh, let's expand the first product. So x times x square is x cube minus x times xy is x square y. Then we have x times xy square, uh, uh, y square that's xy square and then we have y times x square that's x square y plus x square y y times minus x y is minus x y square and then y times y square is y cube so if you observe this minus x square y cancels out with x square y x y square cancels out with minus x y square and we are only left with x cube plus y cube so that verifies the first identity now let's do the second one again we'll start with the product on the right hand side which is x minus y times x square plus xy plus y square and again we will use the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction this time so we have x times x square plus xy plus y square minus y times x square plus xy plus y square so let's expand the product so we have x times x square is x cube x times x y is x square y x times y square is x y square and uh, the second term we'll have minus y times x square is minus x square y minus y times x y is minus x y square and minus y times y square is minus y cube so again what happens here is x square y and x square minus x square y cancel out x y square and minus x y square cancel out we are only left with x cube minus y cube which is the left hand side so that verifies the second identity as well by the way these identities are quite often used in expressing uh, the sum of sum or difference of two cubes uh, in the form uh, in in a product form so if you can, please remember these identities because they are very important and very often used. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.